This is code fourth today. I'm going to show you how to create an execution file using the fourth programming language. Today I'm going to use Swift fourth. You can download a free copy at fourth.com. And to create the execution file, you need the full version, which is what I'm running here. So to create an execution file, it's really simple. I'm going to copy in some code and we're going to run it. This is just a simple message box. All it does is it, uh, we have the text hello right here. And then we have our, our mess message box with a caption. And we can run this, you know, all day long from the fourth terminal. But the question is, you know, how do we turn that into an execution file? And it's really simple. All you need is two lines and, and just like that, we created an execution file. So basically you're going to type in the, the word name, which in this case is simple box. And you're going to have that go to this uh, main. You're going to write that in. And then you're going to use a word called program sealed. And then you just type in the name of your execution file. And if everything goes all right, you'll get an OK at the end, which is, you know, typical for the fourth language. So uh, we can actually open this file. And let's see if we can find it. There it is. Now, if you install uh, Swiftforth, it will, anytime you write an execution file, it's going to write to this file path, which will be fourth inc swiftforth slash uh, bin. And there we have it, our execution file. And I mean, it's, it's that easy. And whenever you run it for the, the first time, it, it will close out fourth. But um, in the documentation, it says that it does do that. But every time you run it after that, it won't. Uh, you know, it'll just run like normal. So that's pretty much how you create an execution file using the fourth programming language.